Well, as I always say, every day is a good day for fishing. I reckon today is going to be an absolute cracker. I'm at Tackle World Esperance, about 721 kilometres south southeast of Perth. Rob Tate, family owned business. How long have you been in town? Um, I've been here for 30 years, Paul, and I wouldn't live anywhere else, mate. From what I've seen this morning, I can understand why. The place is absolutely amazing. Now, fishing wise, what are we doing today? Um, I've got a sneaky little spot I'll take you out today, and I think I'll blow your mind, mate. I am so excited because I know what he's talking about. You're going to see it very soon. You know why I love Tackle World Esperance? It's a family owned business like so many Tackle World stores. Dad's over there serving customers. Mum, she's doing the dusting. But we're going fishing. Let's yeah, do it, mate. Let's do it, buddy. I reckon we got the good end of the stick. <laughs> Whilst I love my fishing, I'm also a pretty big fan of good tucker. And of course I got the healthy stuff. Tuna and salad, chicken and salad, just salad. So how far from Esperance are we, mate? Uh, we're currently about 100 k's west of Esperance at the moment. Okay, so that covers the walk we just did through the scrub. What about the drive? Uh, yeah, so <laughs> after the drive yesterday, Paul, we did buy another 100 k drive today, I hope. You know what, just a small country drive, but it's worth it when you see places like this. Now, I saw lots of estuary systems on the way here. Do they all hold brim? They all do down this way, mate, but we picked this particular spot because of the rock and the structure behind us today, so. Structure, let me just say, it rocks. There'll be fish here for sure. Let's go, mate. It's good. I cannot wait to wet a line. That wind you can hear howling through my microphone, it's actually putting a really big belly in my line. But I can use that to my advantage, because I use the belly, the fish will pick up the bait, swim away, take up the slack, and then as soon as it goes taut, bang, I'll set the hook. Got him on? Oh, Had him. Just dropped him. Oh yeah, he's oh, on there. Oh, he's back. <laughs> well done, mate. I think I'm coming over you, Paul, at the moment. You're right, I'll, uh, I'll come under you, go over. We gotta work together like this, don't we? Yep, yeah, look at that, he's coming in. He's now, coming is that normally a sign of a good fish? Yeah, it is, mate, yeah. And it's actually. Oh, looks look like he's got a bit of weight to him, this one, mate. Don't Slot. want to put too much go on him. No, just slide him up at the ways if you need to. Uh, what we've got here is one of the fattest brim I think I've ever seen, mate. Look at that thing. How fat is that? Bit of a horse, isn't it, mate? Look at the guts on that brim. I'm tipping. That there is plenty of tucker in here, mate. Yeah, mate, yeah, no, this is this is um, why we brought you down here, mate. Um, yeah, they, everything down here is about like that. So. Unbelievable. Obviously a southern black rim and one of the fattest ones I've ever seen. And as I just mentioned, we've been here minutes and already you put the runs on the board, mate. Well done. We were just a bit busy. <laughs> you got one on, Paul? Oh, I think so. And I no longer have a left shoulder. Oh. Can I just say, does your husband fish? Yes, he does. <laughs> and can I just say, thongs on a slippery rock, not a good idea. And you know the only reason I went for the big dive, I thought I was about to say goodbye to this beautiful outfit. <laughs> Looked like it was gone, didn't it? It did. And the sad thing is, it ain't even a monster. Oh, the things we do. So I come all the way to Esperance just for me to sit on my backside. Look at that, I'll grab that for me, mate. This is the fish. When I go to the physio and say the burst has gone on my left shoulder, this is the fish that did it. Unbelievable. And you know what? He's actually taken two baits. What a pig, look at this. Two hooks in the mouth of one fish. They're fat, but they're still hungry. Now, Rob. I think there's any chance we could just delete this footage and never speak of it again? Well, it's a little bit embarrassing, wasn't it? But hey. <laughs> a little bit? <laughs> oh, the things we do. Oh! He just dropped it. No, he's back again. That hit hard. <laughs> yeah. He's back in there. Come back and had a second crack. He did, eh? He did. He, he, he dropped it. Oh, you I'm, won two, Paul. Yeah, are we're you? crossing. <laughs> I'll come over this way. This thing just did exactly the same. Just whack, whack, and gone. Well, this has got a lot of weight. They're very hungry, aren't they? They are ridiculously hungry. Now, this is about as good a brim fishing I've seen for a long, long time. Is it always like this? Yeah, mate, it's always like this. 
We come here all year round, mate. Yep. And, and you always catch them. We always catch them, mate. That's unbelievable. And they're solid fish too. Like, are they always this big? Yeah, mate. Yeah, they certainly are. What's the biggest brim you've seen here? Um, we've got a 48 centimetre one out of here. Eight. Yes. That's got to be about as big as black brim grow, I reckon. Yes. Mate, look at them two fish. Out of exactly the same mould, i got to say, Tatey, I was excited to come here. I've heard about Esperance for a long time, but I didn't think the brim fishing could physically be this good. Yeah, I did promise you I'd blow your mind earlier on, mate, so here it is. Well, it's happening. The wind's blowing too, you know what? I don't care, because we're catching plenty of fish. This fishing really is blowing my mind. I apologise about the wind. Nothing we can do about it. This rock is fixed, the wind's blowing our face, but I reckon that's why there's fish here. If you fish on the windward side of the lake, what that wind does, it brings all the bait, all the fish into this side, and of course the big predators are there too. Now this little rod and reel, the one I almost lost before, absolute gem, it's the Shimano Paul Wessing Nano Series 762 brim. Super light in the tip, but so much power on the butt. And you'll see the Nano Series actually changed to a beautiful matte black now. The real Shimano Stratic CI4 Plus, it's a 3000 model. I used to wonder why they made 3000s, but now that I use them more, I know why, because they're just a beautiful size reel and they'll do just about anything. Of course, my favorite braid there, you can see that yellow, four pound fins braid, and it's stopping these monster brim today. Oh! <laughs> that almost, almost, just took that right out of my hands. Oh, I cannot even begin to imagine how many brim must be in this lake. And this fish has swum straight to the shore, but they are just eating this prawn and just snaffling it down. And I'm actually fishing circles today. I'm pretty happy so far. Every fish I've hooked has been a corner of the jaw hookup. I'll bring this fish in, we'll have a look as well. I'm fishing a two hook rig. And look at that. This fish is actually a bit bigger than some of the ones we've been catching. And again, that circle hook, look at that right in the corner of the jaw there, and that is the benefit of circle. Look, if you used a bait hold, a long shank, these fish the way they're feeding, I reckon you gut hook them. If that fish ain't gut hooked, it's going back, and that is the value of a quality circle hook. One of my favourite fishing sayings is never leave fish to find fish, but there's also an exception to every rule. Tatey, why are we taking our bat and ball and going home? Well, we've been smashed here, Paul, at the moment, but the fish aren't as big as I want them to be, and I've got another little spot up the, uh, up the road there we can have a look at, so. Long walk? No. It's not a long walk, mate. We'd just be over just over there. Let's do it. Can't believe I'm leaving one of the hottest brim bites I've ever seen. Alrighty, so we're using prawn for bait today, and I'll just show you how to easily, quickly rig it up. So all I do is I've got a long shank hook size four there. Um, you just pull the head off, pull that little bit of the tail off, and then pretty much it's just a matter of just feeding it straight through. Just keep feeding it down the hook, bring the barb out and present it nicely like that. And that's how we like to rig a bait for a black broom. Oh yeah, we're getting some nice bites now. Gotcha. One as well, mate. That is a, oh, look at the size of yeah, that thing. That's just, a better fish. I'll just drag this up on the rocks. Oh, my goodness me. That is a big, Change big of location, brim. Paul. Unbelievable. As I said, mate, I normally don't leave fish to find fish, but that is worth leaving fish for. I've got a small one here. I'll leave him in the water. That is an absolute stonker of a black brim. You know what? I reckon there's going to be fish in here way bigger than this. I think so, mate. That is unbelievable. This is the best fish of the day so far, and when they get there about this big, they're about 20 years old, I reckon, so we'll have to release them, I reckon. There he goes. Well, as you can probably hear, the wind hasn't backed off, but the good news is the brim bite hasn't backed off either. And today, believe it or not, I'm using a Padnoster rig for brim. Never thought I'd see the day. Quite simple though. That is my shock tip at 12 pound instinct fluorocarbon. A swivel, that attaches my rig. And it basically has two little droppers about 15 centimetres, looped on the end of the dropper, a size four circle hook. And at the bottom, a spoon sinker. First time I've used a spoon sinker in about 100 years. But the beauty of a spoon sinker, you cast in, it goes to the bottom. When you go to wind in, it actually swims up off the bottom and it avoids all the weed and snags. They do have their place, particularly if you're rock fishing. The old Pat Noster, it's doing the job. And the great thing too, every single fish, 
hooked in the corner of the lip, so we don't have to worry about gut hooking fish. Great for the fish's future, and also very good for me, because I don't have to tie more rigs. Oh, Paul, you have the rods on, mate. <laughs> it's going for a bit of a trip, was it? Yeah, it's got a little, something having a little bit of a look at it. Yep. Oh, having a bit of a look. That has some serious weight. I cast a bit further that time. I actually cast all the way back to those snags. And I even tried a bit of, oh, a bit of pilly for bait. The interesting, the pilly was on the bottom hook. You should very just see what it goes Yeah, for. whether he took prawn on the top hook or pilly on the bottom hook. But I just thought I'd go back to where the big fish might be hanging. And just judging by the weight so far, look at the way he's cutting through, the, he's, he's on the pilly. Oh no. No, he's on the prawn. And you know what? He's not a big fish. But how's the way he pulled? Yeah. That is unbelievable. He is just an average fish. When I say he's average. Made a bit of a mess, hasn't he? He's made an absolute mess. In fact, I can't <laughs> tell what he took in the end. I think he's taken a bit of everything. Not a monster, but how's the way he pulled? And I've got to say, I'm puffing and panning a bit because we've done nothing but run around and catch fish. <laughs> this joint is absolutely nuts. It's been a bit busy, isn't it? If people knew this existed on the east coast, which they're going to do very soon, Esperance, you might need a few more hotels because the brim fishermen, they're coming from everywhere. Off you go, dude. Just releasing our fish in this little backwater here. I can see him just cruising around, give him a chance to get their breath, and then head back to all their mates over there. How's the hit? <laughs> yeah. It was just a big woof, wasn't it, out there? He just, he just <laughs> bang on, was he? Was it, was it no biting at all? That's it's awesome. actually got a fair bit of weight on here, so it's either two, I think it's, it's either two or it's one good size one, Paul. Well, you never know. There's that many fish know. out there. I'm actually shocked we haven't hooked two yet. So we'll see what we've oh, got. Oh, you got two, you got two. Oh, you got, got two on, that's why it feels. That is wrong. <laughs> we'll see how big they are. They're good they're, size. Are they a pigeon pair or they're? No, no, one small one, one big one. But there the big one is a very big one. There and the go. small one ain't really a small one so either. That would have been the whoosh. That is potentially one of the craziest things I've seen for a long time. Two brim on a padnoster. Right, that fish there on my left, on your right, that is as good a brim as you'd ever hope to catch. An old small mate here, well, that one would keep a kid pretty happy too. Esperance, you blow my mind. I reckon it's a good one, mate. See how he's sort of coming in? Yeah, he's sort of just rolling over in the Oh, in yes, the waves it's a beautiful there. fish. Look at that. It's swimming in nicely. It's actually swimming towards us a bit. That's Which why is good. I, Probably the waves and the 40 knots of wind pushing him in. That's a horse, yeah, it's mate. It's a beauty, isn't it, mate? Just Look slide him up, up, slide him in this little hole here, maybe. That's Look a that. really nice fish. You don't want to lose fish. that when we get to this stage, do you? Oh, no. Look at that. Holy snapping black brim. That is wrong on every level, mate. That. He's almost a snapper that I'd be happy to catch if it was red. It would be, wouldn't it? Now, you're telling me, this fish is around 40 centimetres from tip of the nose, tip of the tail. You're telling me on any given day, you've caught fish here to 48. Yeah, mate, we're getting bigger than that here. This has got to be one of the best southern black brim fisheries in Australia. Oh! And, on your rods, oh. and there goes a, and you just about lost another, uh, another oh, reel. Grab, would you like grab, me to grab that? Grab the monster. Yeah. <laughs> we're very professional here. Yeah. Oh. We, you can't. You, there's a weight on that, sorry mate. You can't make up if you try, could you? <laughs> that is one of the best brim I've seen for a long time. I only went swimming again there. Oh, my friends at Shimano, could you please send me another Stratic? I think this one's got a few scratches on it. You know what? I don't care, because this is amazing. Mate, I seriously hope, I said it before, I hope you've got plenty of accommodation in town, and I hope you've got plenty of prawns in the freezer, because when people see how amazing this joint is, they're going to go bonkers. Yeah, they will, won't they? Oh, I've got, I've got two here, have I, or just one? What have we got? Oh, no, you got two. two here. No wonder they were pulling so hard. There two you go. brim. You got three brim on the up and one. Three brim on three hooks. Well, that's probably a very fitting way to end. Esperance, Southern Black Brim, capital of the world. One, two, three. It's a trifecta. Make sure you say good day to Tatey too. Because let me just say, 